Recent hoarding cases have left the Forsyth County Animal Shelter near capacity. The county's dealt with three recent cases with 73 animals coming in from those had to close its doors twice last week due to an uptick. Fox 8's Celeste Smith tells the shelter's main focus now is finding homes for the dozens of animals who have been brought in. Basically every nook and cranny was taken up in this past week. 40 dogs and six kittens, 11 cats, 16 cats. These are numbers of animals brought into Forsyth County Animal Shelter from three different hoarding cases. Numbers that shocked the Forsyth County Animal Services Director, Kirsten Briggs. So far we've had about five hoarding cases since we took over operations of the shelter a year and a half ago. 73 animals brought to the shelter in just two days. The shelter's capacity is 200, so it's easy to say why the shelter is seriously strained. We were up to about um, 170 last week for a few days, so that was really hard. It's, it, it's a lot on the staff, it's a lot on our medical team. Many of the animals are healthy, clean, and ready to be adopted into a loving home. Some are still dealing with the impact of living among dangerous clutter. Some of them are uh, just behaviorally shut down, dogs and cats, because they've had very limited human interaction. Um, the cats from the other case, unfortunately, most of them had to be humanely euthanized because the ammonia levels in the house were so high. Um, they had basically ammonia burns in their lungs. Some local rescues have stepped up to care for some of the animals. Briggs is grateful for their help and says you can help too. It all starts with the commitment to being a responsible pet owner and having your pet spayed or neutered. It's a mental illness issue. Um, they feel that they are providing the best care and um, they are collecting these animals because they care for them and they love them. Those poor babies. Many of the animals brought in after the hoarding cases are, though, now up for adoption at the shelter. People who adopt them are being given extra information how to ease those animals into their new homes after they've lived in a stressful environment.